I started with uh, Sociale Juridische Dienstverlening, yeah. um, which translates as social judicial service. Mm -hmm. um, because I did feel, I don't know where this came, comes from, um, but I felt like I want to help other people. I actually, this is one of the things what I like about Wachama is uh, <laughs> Mr. Alan Watts over there. Um, he, I, um, I got to hear about him and somebody sent me a, a YouTube video in, I think 2007, 2008, uh, it's the one, a conversation with myself. And that just really started, uh, a lot, uh, for me because at then at that point I just, I was just hooked. I started listening more and more to Alan yeah. Watts and it just became like, wow, I was very confused by what he was saying, but more and more I thought like, uh, this is such a different outlook on life yeah. than anything I've ever heard, uh, like either from religion or from hard scientific people or from, you know, anybody in my environment who doesn't have any answers. It kind of forced me out of my comfort zone um, and forced me to, to, to look carefully at myself and change things and do things that I really wanted to do. Because if you don't do what you want to do, and you do things that you think you're supposed to do, you're never going to do them well. Tell me a little bit about how things got started. Yeah. Um, it really is the result of uh, my focus within my studies on ecosystem restoration, which is the result of um, seeing the Green Gold documentary by John D. Liu in 2013, and then deciding, I want to know more about this. Uh, and I want to know how to do this. This sounds really great, very rewarding, I think, uh, very interesting field, uh, many different disciplines come together here. Um, what we want to do is also give people hands-on experience because we found uh, that through, for example, well, we found that, that a lot of people are needed but they don't have very much experience, including international land and water management students, for example. Uh, they go to Spain or, or uh, Portugal uh, once a year uh, in the master program, uh, I believe, and um, and that's the 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 only practical experience they have, and it's more like consultancy for mm. local people there, rather than that they actually learn how to build a, a dam or uh, a, how to build a, a, a zuni bowl or a swale or something like that. Um, and so they don't have the hands-on experience yet; they're still are then later in the work field expected to do all kinds of, you know, all kinds of research and projects and so on. Um, and I've, I just felt that from my own experiences in India, it might have been tough, but I really learned when I did my minor at the university, I was able to visualize, visualize things and understand on a deeper level why is it important to manage your water and everything. Yeah. Because it's just so much more concrete when you're standing there in the desert in the heat and you need water. Yeah. It's very crucial. Yeah. It's a totally different story than even reading a book in a cool yeah. classroom in the Netherlands.